Hi everyone, Mercy here with a video tutorial. Um, I have had several requests asking me to do a tutorial on how I combine and merge digital images like the card that you saw on my blog for um, I believe it's Mercy's Tuesday sketch number 106 I believe from this week. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things here. I'm approaching this with the attitude that some of y'all have, you know, a some sort of prior knowledge to Photoshop. Um, I'm using Photoshop Elements 8.0. So what I I'm using by Lori Designs Images. So I'm going to go ahead and open up some of the images that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using the Lollipop Christmas Tree. And let's use the lollipop cat. Okay. Now, in my card, I used I actually used three images, but for the time constraints that we're under today, I'm only going to be using two. Um. The first step I usually do is I duplicate each of the images. So I'm going to go up to file and duplicate the cat image and then close out the original. That way I don't make any changes or accidentally delete the original. I'm going to do the same thing with a Christmas tree. All right, and now I'm left with two copies, one of the tree and one of the cat. Now to start off with, I usually go from the smallest image onto the largest image. So I'm going to, I want to move this cat over here to the Christmas tree. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the cat, make sure he's over here in my right toolbar, or in my right layer. I'm going to come over here to my toolbar on the left hand side, I'm going to click this eraser. Down here on the lower right hand corner there's an arrow, if you click it, it'll give you three different eraser tools. Um, for what I'm doing today, I'm going to use the magic eraser tool. And then I'm going to come over on the cat and without touching any of the lined images, I'm going to click on the background. What this does is it, delete, it erases any of the filler color. So as you can see, all I'm left with is the cat image with nothing behind him. And since he's not a closed image, I have nothing inside of him either. Then I'm going to use my move tool over here on the left hand side. I'm going to click on a line on the image and drag it over onto the image of the tree. Now, as you can see, he's very, very small, so we're going to have to resize him by taking one of the corner squares and dragging upwards diagonally a little bit. You can see the image got larger. It's blurry right now. It's blurry right now, but you'll be able to see it a whole lot better as soon as I click this check. It means I'm happy with the way he looks, so I'll drag him down. If I wanted to make him a little bit larger, I could do the same thing by grabbing the corner block over here and pulling and making him taller, but I'm kind of happy with the way he looks right here. So I'm going to close this one out without saving. Now I'm going to come over here to my side, the right side where all of my layers are at. I'm going to make sure that I have the background highlighted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm actually going to erase all of the Christmas tree that is behind the cat because apparently, you know, our cat is not transparent. You can't see the Christmas tree through him. So again, I'm going to come over here to my eraser tool. I'm going to click that lower right hand arrow again to get all of my eraser options. Then I'm just going to use the regular eraser tool. Okay, and then up, up top, you'll see the different sizes here. I usually have my brushes set at 220 pixels. They're usually large enough to um, erase large areas but not so large that you're taking out a whole chunk of image. So I'll leave it at that. You can see the size of it here on the top of the in the upper left hand corner here. I'm going to dance it around a little bit. Okay so I'll take it, I'll put it inside the cat I'm going to hold down my button and just drag that icon over areas where the tree is intersecting with a cat. 
So I did that in its face. I'm going to come down here to his body where this ornament is. And take that out of him. And of course take the lines out of the tree. You won't be able to see that. Then I'm going to go up through his tail and erase the lines there in his tail. And voila! There you have a cat sitting in front of a Christmas tree. Now all you have to do is save this file and print it out, color it, and add it to your card. That's it for me today. Thank you.